All right, family. So we know that when it comes to somebody wanting to be healthy, wanting to lose weight, nutrition is usually the hard part of the whole equation that prevents them from getting to their goals. And one of the things is the cooking process. Sometimes people have such busy lives that it's really hard for them to, to meal prep and have this healthy food. And sometimes since they don't have, not, they're at work, they're out of the house, they end up picking up something unhealthy that prevents them from reaching their goals of being healthy or losing weight. So in this video, we're gonna cover healthy to go meals, healthy meal preps that are gonna help you with these things. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Javier Sandoval, I'm a dietitian. And in this channel, I focus on anything that improves your health, helps you with weight loss, and helps you live a long, healthy life. So if any of these topics interest you, don't forget to subscribe. So the first meal that we're gonna talk about is the one that's gonna require a little bit of more work to do. The other ones are gonna be easier, but this one's gonna require some effort of meal prepping, but it's very simple, it's nothing complicated. So it's just gonna consist of three things, and I'm gonna show you how to cook them and everything. So thing number one is gonna be, it's gonna have meat, it's gonna have vegetables, and it's gonna have fruit. So the meat, it's very simple. We don't have to complicate it. I want you to know that you could eat any meat you want, go to the grocery store, and you see in the grocery store all the raw meat that they're selling, any meat is fine, so you don't get tired of it. But the important thing that I'm gonna tell you is how to cook it. So when you cook it, any meat that you get, I want you to don't cook it with oil and don't cook it with butter. All I want you to do is on the pan, put Pam spray because that's going to be zero calorie spray. So if you are going to get calories from the fat, I want it to be just from the fat from whatever meat you choose. So if you choose a fatter, a fatter meat like steak, turkey, salmon, then just cook it in its own juices. And so any meat is going to be fine. Second thing is I want you to get frozen vegetables. Yes, you could go get fresh vegetables, but for the purpose of fast to go meals, I want you to know that frozen are still healthy, the same amount of healthiness as the fresh vegetables and the same vitamins and minerals, but just in a frozen state. But it's gonna be very simple because if you ahead of time cook this batch of meat for the whole week and just have frozen vegetables in your fridge, now all you gotta do is a couple days before meal prep, some chicken, some frozen vegetables in a container and you could take it to work or anywhere you're at and all you gotta do is microwave it. And the third thing that you're gonna add to that meal is just gonna be a fruit. Any fruit is gonna be fine. Have a variety so you don't get tired of it. You could have with one meal, maybe you could have an apple, maybe a banana, maybe an orange, a pear. So now you have your meat, your veggies and your fruit. All right, so the second meal is gonna be a little bit easier. So this is gonna be a healthy sandwich. A healthy sandwich is gonna be way better than you getting any fast food. So the healthy sandwich is gonna be two pieces of whole grain bread. You could use turkey or ham, but I want you to get the low fat option. With my sandwiches, I like to put sour cream or mayo and just use any low fat sour cream or low fat mayo. Put a slice of fat free cheese or low fat cheese and then just add lettuce, tomato, onion, and just that sandwich is gonna be a super healthy sandwich compared to any other option that you would get in, an, in a fast food restaurant. But now, something that's gonna be even simpler is gonna be just a protein shake or a protein bar with fruit and vegetables. And let me tell you how you're gonna do that. So protein shake, it could be any, any type of protein powder or a protein bar preferably the lower calorie protein bars. And then fruit is gonna be the same thing. You could have banana, pear, apple. And then for vegetables, you could just get baby carrots. That is just, you don't have to add the vegetables to that meal. It could just be the fruit and the protein powder. But if you even wanna add some, some vegetables just to get a little bit more full, baby carrots is a good thing because usually they come in packages. You could get them in small packages, they're cold, so you could put them in your little lunch pail and then you could open up the little bag. Sometimes they're already prepackaged in a small bag or you could put it in a little zippy bag yourself and just have baby carrots and that could be your meal. The last option that I'm gonna tell you is gonna be from a fast food restaurant. 
So here in California where I live, there's a restaurant called Waba Grill, but I'm sure there's something similar in your area. So Waba Grill, will, what they sell is grilled chicken, rice, and vegetables. So usually it's just healthy food. Usually that's the bowl that I get. There's a restaurant, Pollo Loco. They sell healthy salads, grilled chicken. So there are a lot of healthy options you could do in fast food restaurants. So I want you to know that if you have to eat out in a restaurant, it is possible to still be healthy and lose weight, but it's our duty to choose the healthy meal. Because sometimes when we go to a, a fast food restaurant, we're not trying to make the healthy choice because we feel like, ah, well, I'm already at a fast food restaurant, might as well get whatever looks good to me. No, you could make that healthy choice. So go for the grilled chicken, go for the salad. If you go to like a restaurant, fancy restaurant, you could go for the steak with asparagus and a baked potato instead of like the pasta. So there's healthy options that you could go in those fast food restaurants, even McDonald's. There's salads, there's, they have the calorie ranges on the meals so you could always get something healthy. So last tips that I wanna say is any of these meals that you're gonna prepare at home, I want you to make sure that you season them. Season them with garlic, salt, pepper, any spices, herbs, and spices that you like. Season them because I want this food to taste good, especially like vegetables. If you eat vegetables without being seasoned, they're gonna taste nasty. They're gonna taste plain, like nothing. But if you put your vegetables, you put garlic, salt, pepper, it's gonna have some flavor that they're gonna be edible. You're gonna be like, all right, they don't taste that bad. Because usually people don't think that vegetables are super, super delicious. And if you eat them plain, they're really not gonna taste good. So if you season them, at least they're gonna give some flavor where they're gonna be tolerable, where you'll be like, all right, I could, I could eat this. So make sure you're seasoning your food. And lastly, these are just some options that I do and some of my clients do. There's a lot of options and recipes that you see on Instagram, TikTok, that people get very creative. But I want you to just keep this in mind. If the recipe is too creative, that takes too much time, you know, maybe you wanna avoid it because the whole point is I want you to feel like this is simple where you're like, okay, this meal prep is quick and easy. I could just make this happen. But if you know that this recipe that looks so delicious on TikTok takes a lot of time, it's gonna prevent you to be like, oh yeah, that look sounds good, but me to prepare all that, I, I just don't have the time. So make sure that yes, get creative, but at the same time, not too creative where you, you don't end up doing these to-go meals. All right, family, so that wraps up the video. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.